And welcome back to the Business Spotlight. My guest today, Ojinga Carr. He's a certified uh, coach in some in certified high, high performance, performance coach. coach. If I can say that right, that would be amazing. Certified high performance coach, amazing individual. Really excited for the things that we're going to cover in this segment. If you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur in any capacity, if you're someone who's really trying to find their purpose, passion, mix it with your profession then you want to make sure you stay tuned to this show all the way through all four segments. Ojinga, this time I really want to talk about um, what you're doing to create the success you're having because you're touching the nation in so many ways. You touched all 50 states. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, created great success for thousands of business owners around the country. Um, what are you doing, really, to create the success you're having? So I'll tell you, Pat, that what I learned from my own personal trials and the different things that, that happened was really about how it is that we structure our business as well too. And so what happens many times when we, when we get started in a business, especially when we're a small business, is that someone says, hey, you're great at painting and you should go open a business. And so you get started with that and you say, okay, awesome, I'm, I'm great at painting. So if you're good, you'll have a, an accountant and a lawyer when we get started, but we don't know how to structure a business. Right. And so you're good at painting, but you kind of suck at business. And it's kind of one of those things that happens as far as that. And so um, what we want to do is that we end up working our businesses like we work our jobs. And see, Pat, many times uh, when, when we're in a job, we work just hard enough so that we won't get fired. And they pay you just enough so that you won't quit. Right. And so you find yourself in a business and you're in a bad situation. And so in the same way where I was in that hospital bed and I was in a bad situation, it put me there. So what I started to figure out for myself and for what ultimately works for businesses are three C's. And those three C's are clarity, content, and consistency. You see, if you can be clear about what your expectations are in your life, if your content can be, can be legal and something that you can actually do, so something that you have an ability to do or that someone can do for you, and you can be consistent in your actions, You'll be successful in whatever it is that you're trying to do in your life if you can manage those three C's. So it's the same thing in your business. If you can be clear about your expectations for your employees, know what it is that you want them to be able to do, the content of that can be legal, and we can say that it's legally and something that we actually want to be able to get done, and then we can be consistent in our actions as far as how we take towards our employees, then we'll be successful. And so that was the, the secret and the, the, the recipe for success for me. And it's also a recipe for, for success in any business. And so if you structure yourselves in that way and you look at it, then now we can create that for our businesses and be able to figure out how we can be successful, which is really important. Yeah, I know one of the, the other guest speakers we're going to have on at the Limitless Summit later this year is uh, that we're, we're really, t uh, Scott Barhol, mm -hmm. and he talks about Michael Gerber's program mm -hmm. where he says, you know, most business owners have uh, an entrepreneurial seizure. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they are good at something, they go jump into that business, but they don't understand the business mm -hmm. of the business. And so one of the things that you do is you bring in that structure, that clarity, that content, and the consistency that can really change the lives of and the destiny of any business. When I, I think about some of the people that uh, you work with and some of the results that you've created, can you give me an example of any of the, the businesses that you've worked with and how you've been able to help them transition to the next level or even real great success in their business? Absolutely. So what we see many times are businesses that have explosions in growth. And so we have a client that went from 30 employees to 150 employees almost overnight. Nice. Got huge contracts, big things, started doing it. Well, we went from a mom and pop situation to a place where they needed real structure in their business. And so that's what it is that we're searching for is being able to create that structure. So we create, we create a new policies, new job descriptions, got some leadership training for their people to be able to figure out how do we lead and to be able to do that. Because understand that in order to be successful, we have to make sure that we are grooming our leaders, getting them to understand what it is they need to do, and that we have great content for them to use as well too. Right. Um, I say all the time that really, you are, the, 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 what, where, who you really are is the distance between stimulus and response. Right. So something's happened, so how do we respond to it? How do we respond to it in our business? How do we respond to it in our life? How is it we can make sure that we can contain and be able to keep high performance to be able to do that?
Well, too. one of the things that you're talking about, I see so many, many times, is that there's an event that occurs and we have a way of reacting. Mm -hmm. I mean, I like to tell people, look, uh, adults are kids in big clothing mm -hmm. under pressure, sometimes otherwise too. Mm -hmm. But the point is, is that adults are kids in big clothing under pressure, so we've got a way of responding. Mm -hmm. You're creating a, what I call a pattern interrupt mm -hmm. between the, the, the event and what comes next. And then what's neat is that you're creating policies and procedures in a way that keeps a company out of trouble, mm -hmm. and that's the key. If you were to sit there and, and summarize just three action steps somebody could do uh, real quickly, mm -hmm. um, what would be three quick action steps that they could do uh, right now? All right, so in your business, would it be, first of all, have a handbook. Make sure you have a handbook. handbook. Secondly, have great job descriptions that actually describe what it is that you're supposed to do. And then follow up with those two things. Follow up with those two things. Right. At what level does somebody even need an HR person? What do you think? Just Absolutely. If you have one employee, you need HR. Wow. So one of the things that you're seeing, folks, is that any business can create um, great success if they have the right content, the right clarity, the right consistency in everything they're doing. Today's the business spotlight. My guest, Ojinka Carr. We're having a great show. Stay tuned for the next segment because you won't want to miss it.